Peru Creek winds its way through Summit County. It joins with the Snake River and eventually runs into Dillon Reservoir. At first glance, the creek seems healthy, but not to the eyes of University of Colorado professor Diane McKnight who's been studying the region policy group funds research experiments like the one McKnight and graduate student yeah. Jeff Wong are setting up next to Peru Creek uh, this summer. Or would you rather just have three pumps? They're trying to understand how the creek transports metals from the mine throughout the waterway and into the ecosystem. Wong plans to inject a tracer, in this case sodium chloride or common table salt, into the creek to mimic the metal oxides. But I'm using a conservative tracer because these metals won't interact with what's in the stream already, so I get a really good sense of how long it takes for the sodium chloride to be at each site. Um, and using that data um, through a computer modeling program, uh, I'll be able to characterize other metals. Wong gets ready to put a clear plastic hose into a footlocker-sized tank of salt solution that he mixed that morning with a kayak paddle. The hose is connected to a small pump. Another clear tube runs from the pump down to Peru Creek. All right, and we're off. A steady trickle drips out of the tube and into the creek. It's quickly carried downstream, passing different monitoring sites where Wong's 13 assistants for the day will collect samples into small plastic bottles. They'll be analyzed for uh, sodium concentrations, and I'll use that for my tracer injection model. Eventually, Wong hopes the information from this experiment will tell him more about what the biggest sources of pollution in this creek are and how to best deal with them. But aside from